welcome back to another video. So with today's video, my attempt is to motivate each and every one of you. Um, I've been watching these type of videos for at least the last five years of my life. I kid you not. These videos really, really motivate me to just clean my house, get everything done, you know, just do everyday mommy duties. Um, so I'm making this video to kind of motivate you guys to do the same thing. If you're like me, once I watch these type of videos, like I get up and I start doing things and I make things happen. So what I'm going to be doing is just bringing you along while I clean my house. My main goal is to make one of these videos at least once a week um, just to kind of motivate you guys. And I will be posting it more than likely on Mondays. I feel like Mondays are the days that I just drag the most and I don't want to do anything. So I'm going to post these on Monday. It'll be like a Monday motivational video um, and it'll be like a good start to your week. And just FYI, don't get scared. My house is pretty messy. Um, my mom would probably be mad if, I, if she saw me posting this video. But like I said, this is for motivation. So I'll bring you guys along with me. Okay, so as you guys can see, I started off by cleaning up this counter. I just pretty much declutter it as much as possible. Of course, I don't get everything off of there, but I do try to do as much as I can. And I feel like just cleaning off the counter and taking everything off of it, it just makes it look 10 times better. It's free of clutter and just looks so much nicer. So now I have moved on to my stove. I am wiping it down, but before I started wiping it down, I did spray some bleach on there. And I don't know if you can tell in the video, but this stove is actually really, really old. Um, and I'm just doing the best that I can with it. So I do take off all those little knobs and I just kind of wipe everything down. Like I said, I do spray it with bleach before. And now I'm going on to spray it with some easy off now i do let the easy off sit for a few minutes um, so that it can kind of soak in and just do its scrubbing or what it's supposed to do um, i do go ahead and dry the dishes while i let that sit there and then i'll come back and scrub it down and end up wiping it all back up okay you guys please 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 do not get scared with my kitchen um, with the dishes. I literally have so many dishes and I have no idea how this even happens But these are the dishes just literally from last night and this morning. I have no idea It's just me and Josh and the baby like the baby doesn't even use any of these dishes and I have like a Whole bunch, but don't get scared because I'm gonna get it all cleaned up in just a few minutes um, So I did forget to mention I do start with the hardest things first So to me the hardest part is doing the kitchen because of all the dishes, um, you literally have to get everything done. You have to get the oven done, just everything. So I do start off with the hardest part and then I move on to the easier things. So I normally start off with the kitchen. I move on to the living room and then I normally finish off with the bathrooms. So like I said, please guys, please do not get scared. This is not even funny, but don't get scared. <laughs> so this is my mess. Um, but don't worry, I'm going to get it all cleaned up here. In a oh my gosh, please, you guys, do not judge. I know this is probably like cringeworthy for some of you guys, or if not most of you. Um, but this is my life, so welcome. <laughs> so the dishes on the right side are actually clean dishes, and I've gone ahead and just started drying them and putting them up. And then I'm going to go ahead and wash the other dishes.
Okay, so I do want to share with you guys, I had never actually used my dishwasher up until about four months ago. Actually, when I had my baby, I started using it. Um, for some reason, I guess I was under the impression that dishwashers didn't wash your dishes correctly, but I was very, very wrong, and I was wasting a lot of time just washing them in the sink, um, not knowing that they can actually be washed pretty good in the dishwasher, and it's very, very time-consuming to wash them in the sink versus just throwing them in the dishwasher and having the dishwasher do the work for you. So I have learned to save a lot of time by washing my dishes in the dishwasher. And it just works out perfectly for me. So like I mentioned before, I, now that I've put my dishes up, I'm going back and scrubbing my stove top just to kind of get it completely done now that the Easy Off has set in there and scrubbed for a little bit. I'm just kind of scrubbing it down and doing the best I can to get it clean. So sometimes I do end up washing some dishes in the sink um, by hand just because they either didn't fit in the dishwasher or sometimes if they're glass like this one, I like to wash them by hand just because I'm afraid they might break in the dishwasher. Um, but as you can tell, it's only like a few that I had to wash. I believe it was like four or five that I actually ended up washing by hand. Okay, so now that I have finally finished the dishes, I am moving on to my kitchen table and as you can tell, I'm just kind of picking it up and decluttering that space.
Okay, so now that I have finished the kitchen, I've moved on to the living room. And as you can tell, I'm also decluttering that space. I'm pretty much just putting everything up where it's really supposed to go. So yesterday was Mother's Day, so I had a little picnic with my baby and I had everything just laid out on the table. I didn't end up putting it up just because we got busy. But now it's time to go ahead and put all those things where they belong. So these balloons were for my birthday and I could just not get myself to throw them away. Um, I'm probably going to keep them for like another week or so, but I just couldn't come down to popping them and throwing them away. So I just decided to put them right there in front of the chimney. Okay, now please tell me I'm not the only one that hates folding laundry. Literally, this is the one thing I dread the most, even more than washing dishes. I normally just let the laundry kind of pile up in that couch. And eventually, when it's finally gotten on my last nerve, I end up folding it and putting it all up. Okay, you guys, so now I have officially moved on into my bathroom, and as you can tell, I have that space full of clutter as well. So I'm just kind of decluttering it now, and then I'm going to get started on cleaning it. Um, now, the main thing that I do is just kind of wipe down the sink, and of course, I scrub the toilet, I sweep it, and I mop it, and I just try to do the best that I can. Um, now, I will tell you guys that I did not get a chance to do my other restroom. This is just my guest bathroom but life got in the way i had to make dinner i had to bathe my baby as well as make dinner so i did have to stop all my cleaning and just go ahead and do all of those things before i continued so i did not get a chance to do my bathroom but hopefully i'll get to do it tomorrow or sometime during the week but i do want to share with you guys that the main thing is that at least you know you're trying to do as much as you can in as little time as possible so as you can tell by the looks of my hair, I am officially done for today. Um, I didn't get everything done that I wanted to do, but I got most of it done. I was able to clean the kitchen, the living room, and the bathroom. So um, I'll just leave the rest of the things for the remainder of the week. I wasn't able to finish everything because I had to make dinner. Um, we had to shower the baby, we had to feed him, we had to put him to bed. So as long as you do as much as you can get done, that is all that matters. That's what counts. So yeah, like I said earlier, the purpose of this video was just to motivate you guys. I know for sure these videos are very motivational for me. Um, so I hope it does the same thing for you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys liked it. And I will see y'all next time. Thank you. Bye.